Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to provide the American people with an update on our efforts to protect the integrity of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly. But a lot of votes came in late. I've already decisively won many critical states, including massive victories in Florida, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. To name just a few, we won these and many other victories despite historic election interference from big media, big money, and big tech. As everybody saw, we won by historic numbers. And the pollsters got it knowingly wrong. They got it knowingly wrong. We had polls that were so ridiculous, and everybody knew it at the time. There was no blue wave that they predicted. They thought there was going to be a big blue wave. That was false. It was done for suppression reasons. But instead, there was a big red wave. And it's been properly acknowledged, actually, by the media. They were, I think, very impressed. But that was after the fact. That doesn't do us any good. They can try to steal the election from us, if you count the votes that came in late. And we're also, I believe, the party of inclusion. There are now only a few states yet to be decided in the presidential race. Uh, the voting apparatus of those states are run, in all cases, by Democrats. We were winning in all the key locations by a lot, actually. And then our numbers started miraculously getting whittled away in secret and uh, they wouldn't allow legally permissible observers. We went to court in a couple of instances, and we were able to get the observers put in. And when the observers got there, they wanted them 60, 70 feet away, 80 feet, 100 feet away, or outside the building to observe people inside the building. And we won a case, a big case, and uh, we have others happening. There are a lot of, lots of litigation, even beyond our litigation. There's tremendous amount of litigation generally because of how unfair this process was. And I predicted that. I've been talking about mail-in voting for a long time. It's, uh, it's really destroyed our system. It's a corrupt system. And it makes people corrupt, even if they aren't by nature. But they become corrupt. It's too easy.